All right, ladies and gentlemen. So what we want to do today is this. We're going to do this together. Uh, we have three pipe cleaners, and we want to start our, the base for our plaster sculptures. And the most important thing, as we talked about yesterday and the day before, um, is one of our learning goals is to keep proportion. We want to keep human proportion. So I'm going to help us do that by getting off on the right foot. So first thing I want you to do is to take one of these, and I want you to take the top of it, and I want you to make, we're going to start making the head ultimately. So your head should be about a quarter size, about like that. So I want you to grab your first pipe cleaner and make one about like that. So if I made it round, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter, um, like that. And then what I'd like you to do is to take the end and then just kind of wrap it around. Like so, like that. Go ahead and do that first. Once you've got your head wrapped around like that, you want to leave a little bit of space for the neck. Okay, and then you grab what is going to end up being your arms. So, seems kind of long initially, but you have to remember, as we talked about, in Greek proportion, your arms are as wide as you are tall, approximately. So you try to center it as well as possible, like that. What I'd like you to do is to then take the left arm here and put it up like this and wrap it around. And then what I want you to do is to take the other arm and go up around above this arm and wrap it around this way. That way they're somewhat tight. After that, after that I want you to take this body part and go over the left shoulder like that. And then go over the right shoulder. So you've got it kind of all twisted around itself. That starts a little knot right here, which will um, be the chest. So we'll add a little bit of depth to a chest. So go ahead and take a couple of minutes and do that right now. Okay. So now, once you've got that looking a little bit like that, I want you to take the last part like this. And you go down maybe about that far, which will ultimately end up being the legs here, this last part. So you go about like that, and you've got the legs, and you want to take one leg, just like you did the arms, wrap it up, and then take the other leg and wrap it up this way. So you got the two legs. And then you got the extra part that you want to then wrap up this way, just like you did around the shoulders here. You're gonna do the same thing this way, and then wrap it around the body like this, just so it's kind of out of your way. And then you've got a little stick figure guy here. And then what I always do, actually I'm gonna pause. So go ahead and do that. And now you take the hands and I always kind of bend them in like that and make like a little mitt. I bend them all the way in like that. And I do the same thing with the feet. I just take the very end and I bend it in that way. And then I bend it in the very end, about like that, all the way. And then you can start taking this guy. You can make his elbow. You can make his knee. And you can start figuring out how it is you're going to put this guy, what position you're going to put him in. Ready? 